Made in America, electric vehicle maker Electra Mechanica expanding production out of China, announcing a brand new factory here in the United States. Joining me now in a Mornings with Maria exclusive is the CEO of Electra Mechanica, Paul Rivera. Paul, good morning to you. Um, tell me about the new plant, where it's located, and why you're making this move now. Yeah, good morning, Jackie. Thanks for having us. Well, we're really excited to announce that we're going to put a facility in Mesa, Arizona. And, you know, it's it's just for a lot of reasons. But the biggest reason for us is we want to have a made in the USA product. That's one of the biggest reasons. Another reason for us is we want to mitigate against the Chinese tariffs. We want to tap into the U.S. talent talent pool. We want to make sure that we can tap into a logistics base. So there's just lots of reasons to do it. And we're really excited to be here in the U.S. We've got some photographs of your electric vehicles there. They look really cool. Tell us about them. Tell us about the price point um, and how you stack up to the competition, because there's a lot out there. There is, but this is a very different car, right? This is a single occupant EV, different than any other vehicle that's out there. This is our flagship. It's solo, and it's for everything that you do solo. It was originally meant to be a commuter vehicle, but think about everything that you do by yourself. You get groceries by yourself. You go to Pilates by yourself, to the gym. You go visit friends by yourself. So its price point is $18,500, and it's really uh, different in the sense that it has a 100-mile all-urban range, and it has an 80-mile per hour top speed and it has a lot of the same comfort features as a typical car it has a heated seat it has air conditioning and heat it has bluetooth connectivity so really really unique and it's exciting gets you into the hov lane so really different and also really appealing for fleets as well so we think there'll be a mass appeal for fleets because think about how many applications there are for fleets especially around delivery for pizzas and fast food franchise mm -hmm. small parcel post so a lot there too and also what's interesting is the timing here because you look at the coronavirus pandemic and and people not as willing to ride share um, as they might have been before you know we've all been sort of psychologically impacted by this and you've got a vehicle as you say um, that focuses on the solo experience and when we used to carpool before it was because of the concerns about fossil fuel emissions but now that the vehicles are electric it, it sort of would would balance out in some ways it seems well, you're absolutely right. And studies have shown, especially McKinsey recently has shown that ride hailing is down 70%, right? Because people are concerned. People don't want to take mass transit and people are concerned about getting into Uber and Lyft. This vehicle is perfect because you control your own environs, right? Yeah. Let's talk about the competition that's out there and sort of the growth trajectory of the industry. Um, how long do you think it takes before realistically the majority of vehicles that we see on U.S. roads actually are electric? I mean, the administration is certainly pushing this policy. Yeah, well, if you look at what Frost and Sullivan says, by 2025, 6.9 million new EVs per year here in the United States are going to be electric vehicles in sales, right? By 2030, new electric vehicle sales take over instead of internal combustion sales. And if you listen to Bloomberg, worldwide, a half a billion globally will populate the world, right? And so that's 30 percent of all EVs. So there's just a lot of electric vehicles coming into the space right now. It's just inevitable. We're riding the macroeconomic tailwinds right now. All right. And of course, we'll be watching yours and we'll be looking for that new manufacturing plant. Paul, thank you so much for your Thanks time so this much. morning. Great to see you. Take care.